today's subscription spot, we are having a look at another box from the folks over at the Horror Block. Something seems off on this box. I think uh, they've used a different box for this month's shipment, but that's okay. Change is good. The zombie box on the front still wants to apparently eat brains. He's yelling out brains. I don't think he's actually yelling out picture of brains. No, he actually does want brains. Despite the fact that the box is slightly different, Horror Box, Horror Block is actually Spot's one of, one of Spot's favorite subscription boxes. Whenever it comes, I let out a glee of excitement like a little schoolgirl, and I grab the box from my post office. The box has arrived. Two things I do like, Horror Block and Halloween. Being that this is likely the October box, I'm sure there's probably gonna be some really good, good tasty vittles inside. Not in the literal sense that there's actually gonna be food in there that is likely spoiled over transit, but the fact, I just mean it as a symbolic. Symbolic, symbolic uh, goodies in there that we're going to be partaking in, consuming, devouring like zombies. Let's grab Old Red. Stop talking, everybody says. Spot, just open up the box. Let's do that. Let's do that right now. So it is a different looking box, but let's find out what's inside. See if the goodies are still as good as... See, I love that. I wonder if they... I wonder if that should have actually been the the other way around like this should have been on the outside because that looks really cool but I guess it also promotes some of the other blocks that uh, nerd block releases of course you've got sci-fi block arcade block nerd block junior okay yes let's open this up everybody's still saying spot just open it open it open it open it open it let's open it up first things first <laughs> we've got ourselves a run for your life Haddonfield High Horror 1978 track team Featuring Michael Myers on the front. It's kind of, it does have some somewhat of a high school logo to it. I do like that quite a bit. Also 1978, down below as well from Halloween. Very, very cool looking shirt. I would have most definitely worn that on Halloween. Instead, I actually wore a jack-o'-lantern t-shirt, which actually just had the jack-o'-lantern eyes and just, I think, a mouth... It wasn't the most elaborate of costumes, but I didn't want to also scare the children either. Uh, let's see what else in... We have a syringe, which appears to be a pen. Oh, it's also from Dexter, a show that I'm actually watching now. I'm into season four right now. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's a fun little trinket, considering I've just now gotten it. I love Dexter, by the way. Dexter is so awesome. You can even see the little liquid inside there. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Put that over there. I see also a DVD release in here. We've got Demonic Toys. They want to play with you. Hmm. I don't know. Looking at the selection of toys to choose from. I don't know. I think I'll just go outside. I think that is the one time when I would say, don't play with toys. Go outside and play on your phone. Yeah. It's, it's a good time. It's a good time. Don't, don't play with these. Uh, the back of the package, this comes to us from Full Moon Features. Full Moon. Also does the Puppet Master series as well. They're cute and cuddly by day, lethal demons by night, ruthless killing machines come alive for just one purpose, death. Of course, <laughs> of course that would be the one purpose. And for five adults in an abandoned warehouse, every child's worst nightmare has come, has become a deadly reality. While at a stakeout, Judith Gray, state... Tracy Scoggins. Oh, Tracy Scoggins. I think she was in Babylon 5. A beautiful, tough cop is trapped inside a warehouse full of toys. Why do we have to mention that she's a tough cop, but she's also beautiful? Like, that was that would have been on her resume. Well, gosh darn it, she's a tough cop, and she's beautiful. Well, welcome to the precinct. Uh, but these are no ordinary playthings. They have been awakened to a murderous life by a strange child of darkness, the kid. Each toy feeds on blood. Jack attacks head straight for the throat. Grizzly Teddy is not afraid to show its claws. And baby Oopsie Daisy is truly to die for. Now it's, the gray, up, it's now up to Gray and its passing delivery boy, Mark Wayne, to stop the deadly demonic toys. Uh, the release date of this, trying to see here, doesn't actually... It says 2012, but I don't think this is a recent release. Oh, 1992. It says right there, 1992. It's only 86 minutes. I'm going to give that a watch tonight. 
Put that right there. We also have a Walking Dead ruled journal with pocket notebook featuring Michonne on the front. That's a good sized notebook. Look at the size of that. Of course, it's lined pages on the inside. The front has a, has a, has a book look to it with Michonne's katanas on the back there. Even says Michonne is her enigmatic warrior who makes short work of walkers with her trademark katana. Despite starting off as a lone wolf, she becomes an important and deadly member of Rick Grimes' ragtag group of survivors. This comes to us from Insight Editions. Put that right there. This is, well, it's a Ouija board. I'm going to get this wrong. Plinket? Is that the actual, I don't know, Plankets? Plinket? Uh, it appears to be, oh, it's a Ouija board money clip. It holds some din some dinero, some dollar. It's licensed by Hasbro, which I think is the original makers of Ouija. Ouija, Ouija board. Ouija, Ouija, which I think is the French and German words for yes. That's That was told to me by the movie Witchboard, one of my personal favorite movies. With, with I think, the guy from... Is he Days of Our Lives now? I know somebody watches Days of Our Lives, and I always, every time I see the guy, I'm always like, oh, it's the guy from Witchboard. Although he's got an eye patch. Mouth Vader. Tawny Contain, great movie, Witchboard. So we got a little money clip there. I can hold my money. I guess I could hold other things as well. Very cool, though. Uh, see here, we got a card. We don't want to look at that just yet. Oh my goodness gracious, we got a Doug Bradley signature. A Doug Bradley signature right there as Pinhead, Certificate of Authenticity. You can follow Doug Bradley at uh, Instagram, Facebook, and website right there. If you want to check him out, follow out, find all the delicious pleasures of life. That is super cool. I'm going to have to find a place to put that. Doug Bradley's Pinhead Classic. I don't think anyone could really fit that fit that character. I know eventually they're going to reboot it, but it's it's not going to be the same. Uh, of course, we've also got ourselves an issue of Rue Morgue. Uh, it says, I am the pretty thing that lives in the house. It's also uh, Siren, the man-eater Lily in VHS spinoff. The Damned, the original horror punk band turns 40. And Vampires, an early history of blood sucker fiction. Let's do a quick peruse. You know how Spot likes to go through pick quick perusings of magazines. Satisfy your inner psycho with horror block. Yeah. I love looking through these magazines. There's just always so much to look at. Of course, I love horror as well. Again, we'll just quickly, quickly flip through it. For those who get... Uh, the Rue Morgue delivered to them. I certainly don't want to give anything away, but there's your issue of Rue Morgue for this month. And then we've got ourselves some cards. Let's go through the cards together. I love the coloring of that box. It almost bears some re resemblance to Spot's new logo. Oh God, Spot's dropping that logo hint thing again. What is he talking about? One of these days, he says aloud. Your one stop Nerd Shop launches October 20, 2016. There is a $10 credit for you. How do you use that? www.nerdblock.com forward slash shop dash launch. And that's your code for you. You got it? Good. I realize I just hinted at my logo, but watch me actually be using the new logo and everything for this video. Then it's irrelevant. Everybody's like, well, that, yeah, that's, yeah, kind of, yeah, you just said that, but it's, it's there. It's, it's, it's right there. Shirt Punch, $10 credits. A new card delivered monthly. Collect and a set to receive a $100 Shirt Punch gift card. But there is the coupon code for you. I've actually received a couple of uh, comments by people that have used these uh, coupon codes for themselves, thanking me. I reply, it's the least I can certainly do. There, that's for you. $10 card. Get a t-shirt on me. Well, not on me, not not literally on me, but get a t-shirt on my behalf from me to you. All right, so let's have a look at the things that were inside. One fantastic box from Horror Block. We got ourselves the t-shirt from Halloween, the Haddonfield High Horror track team. 
Demonic Toys DVD, Doug Bradley autograph, Dexter syringe pen, a Ouija money clip, and Rue Morgue 172. Of course, let's also not forget the Walking Dead journal, which was also here. Now, it did give us a profile on Michonne. I'm assuming they would have also given us a profile on Rick Grimes, but would they have also given us a profile on the back of the book uh, about the zombie? Enjoys eating flesh. A bit of a lone wolf, but does like to travel in packs when sounds or balloons distract it. Zombies are fun, loving characters to other zombies. The humans, they just like to ravage them and eat their flesh and pick away at whatever guts are all over the ground. But together, they get along pretty good. They're, they're fun. They're fun, delightful people in their own groups. Next month's horror block will include a terrifying exclusive item from Gremlins. Mark that on your calendar right now. I can wait. Go ahead. Right now, some kid's running downstairs. He's in his bedroom, dashing across, almost cuts mom off. She's preparing dinner. She's writing something right now on the calendar. Mom's looking over. What are you writing on the calendar? Oh, the guy on the internet. The guy on the internet told you to write something on the What are you writing on the calendar? Horror block. What do you mean horror block? Should I be concerned? Why haven't you even come downstairs yet? I've made all these mashed potatoes. Nobody's eating them. Now he's running back upstairs. Where's he going? Back to the computer, he says. Oh, apparently nobody wants to eat. Nobody in this entire house wants to eat mashed potatoes. Fine. Mom will eat all the mashed potatoes herself. And then when you guys come downstairs, Mom, where's the mashed potatoes? Mashed potatoes are gone. Because you're writing on the calendar. He's outside doing God knows what. Mount War mashed potatoes for Mom. On the back, we also feature festivity, uh, festively gruesome items from Krampus and Freddy vs. Jason. All the more reason to mark it on your calendar. If you haven't done it, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, that one at least was quicker. He, he was only in the next room. If you guys are interested in getting the horror block, as you see how fantastic this box was, if you'd like to get horror block delivered to your house every single month, click the link down below and you can subscribe today. Bingo, bango. And you can get all of this. This right here. Stay tuned, guys. I think I'll wrap up this video with this autograph print from Doug Bradley, just so you can look at that and think what could have been. Well, next month, there you go. That's what could have been. Write it on the calendar. Okay, don't write it on the calendar just yet. Certainly stay tuned, guys. Spot's got more subscription boxes heading your way as we have a look at other things at other things that can come to your house every single month. As always, thanks for watching. As you always do, see you next time.